Hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maureen Swanio and I'm the person behind the Nonya Secrets range of Southeast Asian cooking and curry sauces. Made with only fresh ingredients and no artificial additives and preservatives. This means that when you cook with the sauces, your dishes will not only taste homemade, but they will save you a lot of time. So today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of making laksa. Laksa is a very popular Singaporean, Nonya and Malaysian dish in a spicy coconut broth. In Penang, they have a slightly different version of laksa, which is called Asam Laksa. And Asam means sour in Malay. But today I'm making the Singaporean version. When I was growing up several decades ago, the broth used to be made from fish bones and prawn shells, which is a seafood broth. Nowadays, it is more likely to be chicken broth. Whichever you prefer, as long as it's rich and tasty. If you're going to make a chicken broth, it might be a good idea to buy a whole chicken so that you can use a carcass to make your own fresh broth with just celery, carrots and onions. Leave out the European herbs because it doesn't go with an Asian broth. So I much prefer seafood in my laksa and I'm going to make a, a prawn stock by caramelizing prawn shells. So I've got a nice hot pan and I'm just going to add a tablespoonful of oil and I've got some prawn shells which will go in my pan. caramelizing your prawn shells. Makes you just want to eat them straight away. So, so let that simmer for about half an hour or so. You can enrich the stock even further by adding these dried shrimps which you can buy from Asian supermarkets. So they can go into the stock as well. This is about 20 grams, not very much. Um, but I'm only making a broth for about two or three people. And then a little bit of salt. Now, if you can't find any prawn shells and you just want to use um, plain water, you could enrich your stock by using a, a bouillon powder. This is an organic Swiss vegetable powder and you can use about a couple of spoonfuls of that. So bring that to the boil. Now I'm going to transfer the stock to the back burner and move on because I've got some ready made. So I've made some earlier and this is my, you can see the lovely prawn pink broth that came from and this is uh, can be used to also blanch your prawns that, that you're going to serve on top of your noodles here I've got some tiger prawns you can see these have already got shells they still got their shells on um, you can do you can add that into the prawns if you want to add serve your prawns in their shells but it may be more convenient to just add peeled prawns so this will enrich the stock even further and as soon as they turn pink they are ready they're cooked and you can remove them. The prawns should be peeled and they should have their intestinal tract removed by slitting on the back of it. So it's going to take just a couple of minutes.
So if you're going to be making a chicken laksa, then obviously you would use your chicken stock and cook your chicken in the stock. And then once it's cooled down, shred it into pieces. The other ingredient that can also go into your laksa are these fresh tofu. They are already pre-fried and this is, you can find this in an oriental supermarket in the refrigerator section or in the freezer. So now you've got this lovely, as soon as they start curling up, they are pretty much ready. So you just transfer it into another dish. The ones that are in their shell can be removed later. So, to make the spice seasoning go so in the laksa involves chopping onions, garlic, chilies, lemongrass, galangal, and a whole host of the other ingredients like shrimp paste, candle nuts, fresh turmeric, the list goes on, which will have to be chopped and pulverized and blended into a fine paste. And then has got to be fried for 10 to 20 minutes so that all the ingredients are tempered and cooked, which is in fact a very laborious process. So to save you a bit of time, I'm going to use the Nonya Sambal sauce, which has got all the ingredients that is that goes in the laksa broth and it has been cooked and ready to use. Which means that when you want to cook a laksa, all you need is to put a few spoonfuls of this paste into the broth. Now you can use as much as you want, but one jar should be enough for about two to three, for two or three servings. Obviously, if you want it less spicy, then add less. And then, all you need is some coconut milk or coconut cream. This came out of a can, about 400 ml. So, So mix it all up and there you have it so this is the laksa broth made in a matter of minutes so before you ladle it onto your noodles have a taste make sure that you're happy with the seasoning now if you want it a bit more salty just add a bit of fish sauce, which is about a tablespoon or so. And that's ready for ladling onto your noodles. So now let me tell you um, about the noodles. Traditionally, it's made using rice noodles. So we've got here some Vietnamese rice noodles which comes in a dried form. Try and find the ones that are rounded rather than flat noodles. So they, they also have, they also come in, um, it will be difficult for you to see but you can examine it when you're looking at the packets. They are quite flat as opposed to rounded like spaghetti. So if you can't find rice noodles, you can also use yellow noodles, uh, which you can buy in supermarkets. Either way, it works just as well. You could also use udon noodles or um, soba noodles if you prefer um, that particular type of starch. So now, 
the noodles will have to be reheated. Once they've been blanched, they should be set aside and leave it to cool. And one, when you're ready to assemble your, your laksa, they have to be reheated. So they can either go back into a pot of boiling water or you can zap it in the microwave to reheat. So I've got a bowl which I'm going to put the warm noodles and all you need is just a handful. Then you need some bean sprouts which again have been blanched in boiling water and this can go around the noodles. Put your tofu as many as you like and then your prawns. I usually like to have one on the shell just to make for presentation. Now you could also add some soft boiled eggs. Uh, you can have your eggs runny. So by undercooking it for just about five or six minutes or have it hard boiled and top it up with some shredded cucumber and then ladle your hot sauce over the noodles to serve. So you would need about two or three ladle full. And then garnish it with some fried, crispy fried shallots and some chilies. And you may even want a spoonful of extra heat by having a fresh chili paste on, on the side. Obviously this is all optional. Now finally I'm missing one ingredient which is called laksa leaves. Laksa leaves are Vietnamese mint and it is available in the Chinese Emporium um, but if you can't find it then obviously we can leave it out and you can use uh, coriander leaves or fresh mint. Um, but if you can find some of your the Vietnamese mint, then I would you could grow your own by rooting it in a glass of water and then transplanting it in the garden. It does grow very well in the garden in, in this weather. So I hope you enjoy my laksa recipe and thank you very much for watching.